Hi everybody, Dan Moran here with Concierge Diamonds. Uh, never mind my eye, you should see the other guy, I'm fine. Um, I wanted to talk with you very briefly about why buying a diamonds online might be a mistake, or at least a mistake for a lot of people. Um, I get asked this question all the time, Dan, why should I buy from somebody like you, or why should I buy from a retail store uh, when I can buy on Blue Nile or buy online? And, well, that's, that's a lot to unpack, so let's get into it. So, Blue Nile, is not an owner of diamonds. Blue Nile, Blue Nile does not own any inventory. They're a broker. Blue Nile calls diamond dealers like me regularly, calls on us and says to us, hey, do you have any diamonds you're having trouble selling? We can sell them for you on our platform, but you've gotta be willing to sell them cheap. That's Blue Nile's claim to fame is they sell diamonds cheap. Well, ask yourself, why would somebody in my position, a diamond dealer, be willing to sell a particular stone for cheap? There's gotta be a reason, right? If it's got a market value, why would I discount it? If I've got a $100 bill, why would I sell it for $90? There's only one reason why a dealer would do that, and it's because he's having trouble selling the stone through traditional channels. In other words, when he shows a stone to his normal clients and they look at it, for whatever reason, they don't like it. And this is where I go back to something you've heard me say before. You can't encapsulate a diamond on a certificate. There can be deficiencies in a stone that do not readily show up on the certificate. So. A diamond dealer might buy a stone that looks good on paper, doesn't look as good in real life, then has trouble selling it, so they put it on Blue Nile, trying to sell it sight unseen. Because remember, when you buy a stone from Blue Nile and you get it home, that diamond might be a little bit milky, might be a little bit hazy, might be low luster. But if you don't have another diamond to compare it to, maybe you wouldn't know that. So that the guy selling on Blue Nile is hoping you'll buy a stone on Blue Nile, not be able to put it next to another stone, so you wouldn't notice the deficiency as, as easily. And he has taken out his trash. In fact, a lot of people in the industry will refer to selling diamonds online as taking out the trash, because it's how we get rid of inventory that we're having difficulty moving through traditional channels. That's why I personally don't sell on Blue Nile. I think that while certainly I'm not immune to making a buying mistake and occasionally I have a diamond I regret, I would rather discount it deep and sell it traditionally than go online. Um, it's a valid strategy for dealers to sell stones online, but as a consumer, you open yourself up to getting hurt by that. Uh, you want to try to buy a stone in a, in a situation where you can compare multiple stones against each other, so you can compare the virtues and deficits of any given stone against all of its uh, competitors and buy the stone that you like the best. Buying a stone online deprives you of the opportunity to do that. So that's the long and short of why you shouldn't buy a stone on Blue Nile or on sites like Blue Nile. You should instead find an opportunity to see stones in real life if you can, or failing that, find somebody who can look on your behalf, an expert who can act as a proxy for you and compare stones one against the other. So if you don't know jewelry, know your jeweler, find someone that you can trust and work with you, uh, that person. Again, my name is Dan Moran from Concierge Diamonds. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. You can follow me on Reddit at UDiamondDealer, and I hope to interact with all of you there. Thanks.